Hi and welcome to an unboxing of a diamond painting. This is from Alina Lazareva and this is how the package came in like a cardboard box, which I've taken out just prior to filming. Um, so we're going to get stuck in and we're going to see what is here and what we have and what we've got to work with in the vlog that will be coming up. It will be filmed over a little course of time because these things do take a little bit of time um, and I'll piece it all together at the end. Um, but we'll get stuck right in. So inside we have a big rolled up canvas um, which obviously you roll out and you do at a section at a time. Uh, the reason being is that you'll stick to the canvas so when you're taking back some of the canvas like that just fold that part back and do one section at a time and keep the rest of the canvas on. It does come in sections but you can always just do it to your liking in the large spaces that you need to be able to do. Um, so down the side of the diamond painting you have a little snippet of the image that you are doing which is up here and then you have the symbols and the drill numbers down the side so that will coincide with each of these individual squares that you will have on the canvas so you can see that one that's like a little tiny symbol that you will find on your here and you will look at which number it is, which is 939, and grab those diamonds that coincide with 939. So you will do each of those in that fashion. And it just, in the end, you get this huge diamond painting that just looks incredible. And when the particular diamond changes, you find that symbol down the side. So again, we've got um, another one here, and we go there, it's 823, and you'll find that, and you'll just keep doing it in that way. So they do roll out and they are quite big and I would recommend that you need a large lap table um, and also a light pad to stick behind them because these can be quite hard to see. So to light up each of the individual squares, you'll grab a light pad. Then inside you get like all of these diamonds and they come in this big bag and they're put into the number orders like this. Now, obviously you're going to need to put them either into bags or you're going to have to put them into little pots. Now, my recommendation is grab yourself a really cheap £5, I think this cost me, or £6, um, diamond box. This is a 61, so I've grabbed two because there's a lot of diamonds for this particular painting. And you will work with the numbers you've got. So we're going to put 3325, number them, put them on the pot and put them into your little tiny container. Now I'm just going to show you one that I have done to give you an, an idea. So this is the one that I'm doing at the moment and I've labelled every single one and I've put the diamonds for that in the pot. So you've got to make sure that you're doing it right and that you've got them all. And it, this takes a little bit of sorting. So the first day that you grab your diamond painting, I would recommend that you take the time to just sit down, get your strip <laughs> like this and label your pots and put them into the pots that you need ready to go when you start your painting. It just makes life a lot easier and a lot more fun for you because you can get them just very quickly. So we have lots and lots of diamonds in here and they all coincide with the picture um, and they come in these. So I do it at a table. So any little roll around diamonds, because we all get them, we know we get them, we find them everywhere. <laughs> um, you will pop them in the either the bags or containers, whichever you want. Now there are bags that you can also get the tiny little bags like these. Um, but I would recommend the boxes just personally. Now, also within this, you get a tiny little kit. And this kit is your starter kit. So it comes with one of the glues so that when you get your diamond pen you pop that straight in and also on the very tops for if you want to do more than one diamond at a time and that will give you some tacky um, substance on the bottom and at the top so that you will be able to pick your diamonds up now also you can put them in the tray and um, you can get different size trays this is just one of the standard ones that you'll get in most diamond paintings along with this pen and this is where you go from putting your bit of your tacky it's like a clay, it reminds me of a tacky clay, a uh, like, bit like blue tack, we all know what that is, like sticky tack. And you put the, say you're doing um, 
quite a few of number 3329 and you're going to go from here and pop it onto your canvas so if I grab the canvas just to show you we will be doing this in a vlog it will take a little bit of time um, so you pop your diamonds into there and from there you will go to each individual one and as I said what will be better is that if you pop a light pad behind you'll be able to illuminate each of the symbols which is a lot easier on the eye and you can get very fine light pads that are like paper nowadays so it's really handy for this kind of thing so you also get um, some spare bags just in case you need them and if you need to pick up any individual diamonds you get a pair of tweezers too so it's like a little starter kit for you to be able to get on with so this is the actual pack that you get when you get Alina Lazarevas um, diamond paintings. So you get the rolled up canvas, you get all of your needed diamonds, you get a little starter pack to get you started, which is your mould. Um, I would recommend that you buy a pack of these, they're like really cheap, you can get 20 for $1 or £1 on eBay. Um, one of these and you can get interchangeable heads that you can also buy, a pair of tweezers and a little tray. Here you'll find Alina's Etsy store, which is her one that is specifically for her diamond paintings. And there's a little catalogue of images as you scroll on down from fantasy mermaids, sweet treats, and a lot of images that you'll probably recognise from her colouring books. As I come on down, we have hit the image that we have unboxed today, which is the Winter Warrior Princess. There are some instructions, some steps for usage and what the canvas looks like underneath the sticky paper and the large image. You have to put in your mobile or house number and this is just for your delivery purposes only so that it can be tracked. And I recommend that you just scroll on down here through the description and just give a little read over about all the information and you will come to all the shipping information too which is what I would recommend that you read over the most so you know exactly what to expect with shipping, times, estimates and any information that you might want to know. The delivery is ready for dispatch from three to six weeks and it's dispatched from China to your preferred country. So I'm going to come on back here and straight on up to give you the final view of what the shop looks like so you know where to head to. So that concludes what you get with Alina's diamond painting. I will continue this video with showing you another unboxing. So this is the part with Alina Lazareva. I am now going to pop up an unboxing of the Hippo Happy Finds diamond painting accessories box. And I will also show you some tips and tricks on how I store my materials, how I have organize my materials and just a little bit of how to for beginners you know because I'm very much a beginner with the diamond paintings but we're gonna have so much fun doing this I'm not going to be doing a live stream with this I originally was going to but I think it would just take away the enjoyment and having a vlog so I'm gonna just film in snippets over the course of the month or in the next two months however long this will take it is quite a large canvas as I said these do roll out and they are going to be absolutely glorious when it's done and I cannot wait to see the final product. So thank you for watching this part. We are now going to roll into the second part of this video and this will be the Happy Hippo Finds unboxing. Welcome back to the part two of this video and this is a Happy Hippo Finds unboxing of some diamond painting accessories that were made by one of my amazing subscribers called Elizabeth. Now she has a shop, I'm going to enter all of the where you can find them, what you can get and a little scroll through on her 
Etsy page so you can get a little idea of what you can expect and of course go shop and treat yourself if you're a diamond painting person and this is the details and you also get unique pens for unique painters so you can check out the Facebook group it is Happy Hippo Finds I'll put everything in the description and there is also a lot of restocking news and the information of what is coming and what she also sends out to a lot of customers so we're going to get into this unboxing and i'm going to read you the card first off um it is so sweet and thank you so much elizabeth this is like heaven i haven't opened this stuff i've been waiting i have read this though so we have sammy if i've included my toolkit that includes wax scissors um a large tray washi tape and a hippo cover holder the magnets are for holding the cover back i also included multi tips for the clear glittery pen uh, that pen has the interchangeable tips now as i said in the alina part you can buy them i will show you very shortly on what i am talking about um i hope you enjoy i love your channel and i'm excited to see the diamond painting elizabeth happy hippo finds so oh thank you so much elizabeth so i saw this first of all and i was like oh my goodness okay so let's see what's in here so first off there is a of course a holographic case which is handy to put my stuff in and this is humongous in comparison to the starter kit ones let me show you the comparison so this is a large tray, which is so much better. And I actually use a large tray on my current diamond painting because I find that they sort of grid down these sections a lot easier and you can pick them up easier as opposed to the smaller ones. But you'll find your own way with your diamond painting and what you prefer to do. Um, so she's put a large tray. She's also included this washi tape, which is a heart. It's really purple, shimmery, lovely, gorgeous one and look it's like a silver on the back as well so that is so so sweet and they come in so handy with holding back the bits of plastic especially um when you're only folding back some there is these interchangeable heads that's what i was talking about um so you get ones that can have like 10 6 3 and um, there's different heads that you can put on some pens that have the interchangeable heads so if i just show you one second what i am referring to if you're new to this um you can take these heads off and pop another one in and they're just like a just a hole and you literally just put the different head that you want in the top and it just comes with different sizes so and then there is a pair of scissors which i am assuming to cut i've never actually done it with scissors i've just tore but it'd be so much um neater way to do it so these are a pair of small scissors and they are just to um cut when you are uh pulling back your bit of canvas you know your sticky part that you you know you're done you've done that section that section's filled with diamonds chop it off <laughs> and then this is super cute she has done one of the little clay clay tiny molds uh, that you use for your tacky parts and she's put it into a tiny little bear which is super super cute okay so now it's the rest and i have not opened these as you can see okay so and now there is this uh small these are the magnets i believe um Oh, how beautiful. Okay, so we've got like a little duck and we have this bow. They're both resin. I think she makes them, which is so, so special. So they are just little tiny magnets um, and they hold everything back for you as well. So you put the tiny bit behind on your canvas and then you pop that down and perfect. We have this diamond for the diamond painting. Oh, that is so cute, the sticker. I think I'm going to put that on my box. And she's also included um, some point markers in the safari, which is super cute. So we've got a hippo, um, a bear, koala, tiger, and I think that's a piggy or a bear of some kind. And then we've got some safari post-it notes as well, which is so cute. I love them so much. Okay, and now this will be some diamond pens, which I'm going to zoom you in on so you can see. So I'm just going to open this very carefully and we're going to see which diamond pens we've got included. Oh my goodness, these are amazing. <laughs> oh, I love them. Okay, so we have a rose gold glittery pen with a top and it looks like a pen that you would use in business i absolutely love it look at those crystals 
Those crystals are incredible. Let the camera focus, hold on, there we go. Can you see those crystals? When they get the light, the glint of the sparkle is just incredible. Then we have a wand with a dream catcher on the end. I love this so much. I'm definitely gonna be doing some more orders with Elizabeth, she is incredible. Um, look how precious and pretty that is. And again, you've got a lid and you have the top which is the part that you pop into the clay. Um, it's like a, I call it clay, it's clay to me. And um, you can pop that on the very end as well. So you've got, if you're doing your diamond painting, you pop it on the top, you can see the prettiness at the very end. And then last but not least, we have one of my ever favorite things is a mermaid wand. And it's got two charms on with a seashell and a starfish and again let me show you the glitteriness of this it just hits the light in complete sparkle with a holographic look and it's incredible so i'm going to pop elizabeth's details in right now you just said you can get her on happy hippo finds and it is for diamond painting fanatic so bear with me, I will put that in now and we will come back for the final part of this video, which is just a very how-to for beginners and how I store my stuff. Here we have all the information of Happy Hippo Finds and the Etsy store that Elizabeth runs. So here you're just going to find quite a few really amazing items and you have a little catalogue of what the different categories of pens are. And as you scroll on down, you're going to get magnets and DP pens, tins, and all the little tiny knickknacks that you need for diamond painting. I've just clicked on here to show you up close the selection, plus you get a color selection. And I've enlarged the image of these particular charms, which are little stars, and they are super cute. So as we head on back, I'm going just down a little bit more to give you just more of an insight to the cute, tiny things that you can get to just make your hobby that much more happier and just something cool to look at while she's sitting there as well. Because who doesn't want to look at these cute little items? This is another particular favourite, which I'm going to add to my basket. And these are little magnets, but they are Starbuck coffees in different flavours. And as we head on down further, you have seasonal, you have charms, and there's pages if you go at the bottom as you can see. So I'll leave you here with what the Etsy shop looks like and go and head over to Elizabeth. This is part three of the video and this is just a small demo and a small how-to for beginners and my recommendations for how to store and what you might need to start off as a diamond painter. Now my biggest recommendation and the first thing that I'm going to start off with is the storage pots. So when you get a diamond painting in you will have either small individual bags that will be numbered like these or you will get a strip of each colour like this and it will have the numbers on them so that exactly you know what they are or you will get your stickers that will come with every purchase that you make you can buy them online and I generally chop these into three because you don't need them so big so you number them to the corresponding one of the diamond that you have and you just put them in just like that so that when you get your tray and say you're doing number 152 you pop them in there, hold the end just in case and give them a little jiggle so that they go in a line like that. You might want to try and neaten it up a little bit. 
you'll come in with your pen, you'll pick one up which will have your clay and you'll pop it onto your canvas. So they're really nice and easy. Just bear in mind that when you pop your canvas out, you've rolled it all out, you've got all your diamonds in front of you in the little packets, it's gonna take you probably the best part of a day. Um, if you're like me and you have chronic pain, it's probably gonna take you two days to sit there and label it. You can do it in bed. I did it that way. I sat there writing it all out in bed and, and um, did some at the table and you know, however you like to do it. Now I do represent someone who does have pain. So <laughs> diamond painting for me is going to take a little bit longer. But some people can do it daily and do a little bit every day. I can't do that. I will say this, if you are new or you're thinking about doing it, get yourself a comfortable setup because these will probably hurt you if you try to sit for long periods of time. That being said, I've managed to work a way out that I can do it when I lay down. So it's not too bad. So just bear that in mind. Um, but I'm doing that on just the sort of representing of how I am and how I approach it and my story. But everybody's different. And if you're a diamond painting enthusiast and you don't have that problem, you're going to be absolutely fine to do this daily. So grab yourself one of those and seriously sit and label a number so they come like this when you originally get them they're just like little tic tac boxes you remember tic tac the sweets um and they come with the labels just sit sort yourself out now on a bigger canvas this is a 60 pack on a bigger canvas like the one that alina's got of a 60 i think it's a 60 50 by 60 is somewhere along those lines grab yourself two um, because there's not going to be enough of these to go around for your diamonds. So grab yourself two, pop on top which one it is with a sticky label. So just put, you know, um, diamond painting, Alina Lazareva, Wolf and Gal, or if you're doing a Disney one, um, diamond painting, uh, Disney princesses, whatever it might be. Pop it on there on the top so you know exactly which this box is if you've got more than one on the go. Okay. So I've just showed you and done an unboxing of the parts that Elizabeth has included from Happy Hippo Finds. I've just put them in there for now. But the other thing that I wanted to show you is this roller. So when your canvas is out and you want to make sure that your diamonds are completely flat and stuck, you go over the diamonds like this. So when you start out, you really do need one pen one tray and some of these sticky here we go i've got one out one of these sticky little pads that you can put your pen in collect up some and it goes on the end i don't know if you can see that if you'll focus probably not um but you just that's all you need you need that this one and this one and preferably some tweezers i don't really use tweezers um i tend to just use the pen now, what I have found by doing this one that I'm currently doing, these are essential, which are bigger trays. Now, you'll be able to see the difference in sizes. They fit two of the smaller trays inside them. So they're a large tray, and I just find you'll see what I mean. So you know in this one, they're not really going in lines as such. Um, if you pop them in the larger one and give them a little shake, they seem to go in lines a lot easier and this is what you need when you're picking up more than one so you pop three or so on the end and it will pick up three and the bottom is just for picking up one so they really do i think they make your life a lot easier a larger tray i just think they're much easier to use and then i have uh, some wands i call them wands and um, they're pens they're diamond drill pens um so i got this one which was gifted by kimberly so was the diamond painting that i'm doing um and then I've got the cheaper ones, uh, which are the ones that have interchangeable heads. And then I've also got a pack of interchangeable heads from very small to very large. And then I've also got a mermaid wand that doesn't have the fancy charms that Elizabeth's ones have. So I would highly recommend that you, if you like pretty things, go over to Happy Hippo Finds. Um, and I've just got a selection of trays. Now the trays don't usually come as one, which I found out. I ordered um, some trays and they came like a pack of 10 or a pack of eight or a pack of six. Um, so you're gonna have trays for life here. So 
you really only need to order one pack of each because you won't get one, you'll get a whole bunch, which comes in handy because if you lose one or one becomes broken or whatever the story is, um, it doesn't matter. Now, I would recommend that you just pop them in a flat, storage um so it's just a lot easier for your trays that so you don't you know have anything bulging um so i've just got them in this santoro gorgeous um little bag it's like a bag uh which was in a writing set that i got for 1.99 no kidding you um and i've just popped everything in there so that is all you need to get going you need your tray your mold preferably some tweezers and elizabeth has quite kindly given some scissors which is going to make life easy and then you grow from there if it becomes something you're enthusiastic about i'm pretty sure you'll be heading for the pens with charms and the magnets and the washi tape so i have all what you possibly could need uh, for diamond painting for beginners especially so there are rollers there are trays there are gorgeous diamond pens there are the larger trays and your storage pots which i would recommend is your first thing to go buy yourself they are so inexpensive they have anything from i think you can get from 24 to 80 little tiny they're like pots um and that is all you need so thank you so much for watching this if you liked it give it a thumbs up and i will see you on my next video take care everyone goodbye